everyone. I'm Chris from Simply Classic, and we're going to talk tassels today. So if you watched my last video, we used sacks as inspiration. And sacks is a very organic spring line out. They use a lot of wooden beads, a lot of tassels, um, a lot of seagrass, um, the different kinds of um, macrame type cording in the line and I've really been interested in how they do their tassels so as makers we usually get hardware we make a tassel using the hardware it's a very professional clean look they don't use any hardware in their tassels from what I can tell I've even seen on one of their tassels it looks like they they made the tassel and then they stapled it and that was the whole tassel so I just want to kind of go over a couple options today and sometimes we don't have hardware that we need right and especially right now with shipping and all that kind of stuff it's been kind of difficult to get things so let's go over a couple options this is a tassel that is the only piece of hardware I used was a round ring here so I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer and you'll see all I did was like a hidden connector strap upside down on the bag put it in exactly the same way we do a hidden strap and then I put a round ring on it now you can use a D ring here you don't have to use a round ring it just happened to be what I have then I took another piece of leather and put it around the ring to use it as the holder and then just wrapped a tassel around it and riveted it and then there's my tassel so that's a very, this is um, kind of a, in a Patricia Natch inspired bag. And I think that that is a great option for attaching a tassel. Another way, and this is Saks inspired, is this tassel, and I showed this in the last video, where they're actually putting beads, they're using a lot of wooden beads, and they're putting beads on the bottom of tassels, and they're using wooden beads on the top of tassels. And all they're doing is knotting, knotting the tassel, knotting the cord, and wrapping another piece of leather according around the tassel to get it all held together. So for this here, I actually used, um, this is cording that you can get in the jewelry department at Michael's or Joann's, and it's one eighth inch faux leather, and sometimes it's leather, this says it's leather, cording. comes in all different colors, and it is a great option for tassels. So instead of taking a piece of leather and cutting it, you can actually take this and just loop it around several times, and you know, you can even, you don't have to be real formal about it, you can just kind of, you know, loop, 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 you know, maybe tie it off in the middle, and cut it off nice and even and use this for a tassel. It doesn't always have to be a piece of faux vinyl or leather that you cut into the way we typically do tassels. So be creative with this and I think that you're going to be able to find you can do some pretty cool tassels with this. The, a lot of the beads fit really good on this because it's eighth of an inch so it's really tiny and you can fit some fairly small wooden beads or even not wooden beads on here you have to just kind of twist them on and they go on pretty easy and then you can just knot underneath and just like I did here and you'll have a just put a knot and then you have a little bead at the end of your tassel okay so they did a lot of that on sacks go on their website take a look and you'll be Pretty amazed at some of the things they do. I also went over this in the last video where I actually used a tassel holder, actually the hardware itself, but the way I attached it to the bag was different. So I just took a piece of leather, looped it around this o-ring, looped it around this o-ring, brought it in the center and riveted it down and that's how I attached it. So today we're going to go over something different than any of those. 
Today we are going to go over, I was getting ready to make a tassel for the bag we just made and decided I was going to use this. These are copper crimp rings, half inch copper crimp rings for plumbing. So you can find these at Home Depot, Lowe's. Now, this is the only color I saw them in. It's, they call it copper, but it's almost like a bronze color. And this is what I'm gonna use on the top of the tassel. So a couple little hints to make your tassel. There are tassel templates like this that you can buy from Tops and Bobbins, and I can link this down below so you can grab one of these. Obviously it makes it a lot easier. Or you can actually just cut your tassels by hand and cut all these little strings in. Now, it is a little more difficult because as you cut, you now have strings hanging out. And look at right there, I kind of, there you go. Those were still stuck together. But I'm going to show you a little trick to help hold all these together so when you cut, they're not moving all around. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to attach it to this crimp ring. So I'm going to move the camera down so we can take a look at that. So you see here I have some supplies. And what I did was I cut a piece of leather, and this is real leather, and this is four inches wide, and this is roughly between my lines here, about four and a half inches tall. This here is going to be the width, the length of your tassel. So if you want a shorter tassel, then you're obviously going to cut that a little shorter, or you're going to make your lines a little shorter. So this is what I did. I have a, a line at the top, one half inch. I have a line at the bottom, and I measured this out to see how long I wanted my tassel. Now this isn't set in stone. It's just when we cut, we're going to cut from this line here down to this line, not past either line, and it's going to help hold the top and the bottom together as we cut. So I'm not going to use my tassel template because I know not everybody has a tassel template and that way we can see how this is done. So I'm just going to lay this down, I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just going to give myself about, you know, an eighth of an inch and I can just eyeball this, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's a tassel and it's, you know, moving around and nobody's going to look to see if your little tassel strings are exactly the same width. And when this, I use an X-Acto knife. Now, this X-Acto knife, you can get these anywhere, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, um, you know, wherever. I'm sure you can find them, no problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at my top line and I'm going to cut to my bottom line. I'm not going to cut above my top line. I'm not going to cut below my bottom line. And I'm just going to cut down. Make sure you have a nice, good blade in there, nice new blade, and then I'm just going to move it over, just kind of eyeball it, and I'm going to do it again. Move it over, and cut again. Okay, so you get the idea. Until I'm done with the entire thing. Now when I'm done, you're going to see I have the bottom still attached. You see here I didn't cut past. So at that point, I'm going to just lay my ruler and cut along the bottom line, which will make all of my little tassel fringes free. So that, but that's going to hold it in place as I cut so that I'm not accidentally cutting one of these in half that I didn't mean to. Now, sometimes you're going to end up with, see how these here are stuck together still a little bit? Um, my, my exacto knife didn't quite get through the entire thing. All I'm going to do is instead of using my X-Acto knife, I am going to use my scissors and I'm just, and you really don't even have to barely, you can just, like I just barely rub my blade and it comes, just comes right apart. So don't worry if some of them aren't quite cut good. Um, you know, sometimes you just don't quite have enough pressure on your X-Acto knife and you just need to go through and split them just a little bit. Pretty much they're already cut. You're just cutting that extra little bit to get it separated. Okay? So we end up with this. So now what I'm going to do is 
In order to attach this to my bag, I'm going to take a piece of this 1 8 of an inch leather that I got from Michaels. This comes in a 25 yard roll and it was, I believe, under $10. Okay, so it's very reasonably priced. I'm just going to cut off a section and I'm going to knot it. And you see here, I have the knot, try to pull the knot really tight. Now, the good thing about leather, I'm going to tell you, it is strong. When I used to ride, we would literally take our jackets and, and um, canteens, tie them to our saddles, have them hanging off the side of the mule and just go, and they never fell off. It didn't matter if you hit trees or whatever you hit, they got tangled in vines. Leather's strong. I'm going to do a little test fit first. So I'm just going to take the knot and I'm going to put the knot just a little bit below the line. Okay? So I don't want it up here because as I roll, I don't want the knot in the middle. I want the roll down below. But I don't want it way down here. I want it just below my line. And I'm going to just roll this fairly tight. There's no glue or anything on it yet. I just want to make sure that my crimping ring is going to fit. And I have found with this thickness of leather, it fits perfect. So I'm going to take my half inch crimping ring, I'm going to just slide it on here. And it's tight, which is what you want. fits perfect. Isn't that cute? Now from here you can see I have these extra long things. If you pull all this back you'll see that knot way up in there. But that knot's not coming out. I mean unless you untie the knot this is not coming apart. Now we're going to put glue on it and we're going to hold it in place but you, you get the idea as far as what we're trying to do here. So you can leave it just like this and attach it to the bag, or you can take, like I have these wooden beads here, and I can take my wooden bead and go ahead and thread this through. Tie a knot here. And this is literally what Saks does. When you look at their website, they literally have knots like this. It's kind of amazing to me. And then, there you go. You have a tassel with a bead. Now, I noticed that some of their tassels, or some of their, the way they do it, they have uh, maybe a single strand of this. And they put a knot and they put a tassel on each side. And that's what they're actually tying to the bag. So what I would suggest from here is in order to get all this to stay so you don't have to worry about it falling apart, is I'm going to use some actual leather cement here. And I'm going to take out my cardboard piece so I don't get it all over my mat. And I'm going to put some leather cement on here. And I'm just going to put it right here at the top. Okay. I'm going to let that dry for just a second, let it kind of set up. down so I don't get the top of this tassel in the glue. And I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to go ahead and roll this really tight.
try to get the top of it good and even. We want to have a rag bot nearby. I'm going to go grab that so I can make sure I get all the glue off my fingers. Okay. To hold this in place, I'm just going to take my plumber's crimp here and just stick it on. Now, from here, you can go ahead and just cut your little, if you ha happen to have your knotted top bottoms, let's see if that makes sense. The top here, of course you have your knot, and you got little bottoms sticking out. Just go ahead and cut those even. Okay? And once this is dry, I'm not going to do it quite yet. I'm actually going to pull this off and just put a couple little dabs of super glue and just put this right back down and place it exactly where I want it. And then just like that, the tassel's done. When you go to attach the tassel to the bag, I'm just going to fold it around here, stick the tassel through, just like that. And just like that, you've got your tassel. So. Think outside the box, look around, see what you can use for hardware, see what you can use to, um, you know, add to the tassel as far as beads or whatever. I'm sure there's other things out there. Go on the SAC site, take a look at how they do their tassels, and I think you will get inspired to make some new tassels. So, just a little video on that. Until next time, happy sewing.